Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This is Gian. Today we're going to paint Daisy with a palette knife. First, I'm using this green color to make some background. This can be your cake body. It could be the top of your cake or the body side of your cake. I like to use different color shades because it adds more depth on your cake. This is totally up to you. You can use one color tone and make a clean surface or add some textures as I added on my parchment paper. Now my background is pretty much ready and I'm satisfied with the texture and the color layout. So I'm going to make some blue color for my daisies. I used Delphinium Blue from Wilton. First I made a light color and kept one scoop. And with the leftover buttercream, I add more Daphnium blue and made a darker tone blue color. And then with a small amount, I add some violet to make different color shades of blue. Spread out the buttercream evenly on a flat surface and I also prepared white color and light green color for the leaves. First, I'm going to use this smaller size palette knife to add some leaves. I pick up the buttercream using both sides of my palette knife. I'll show you how to mix the color directly on the buttercream. Add some food coloring and mix it with your palette knife or spatula. Scrape it and pick up the buttercream by using both sides of the palette knife and make this triangular form and slowly scrape it down onto your cake. Now I have enough leaves, I'm going to make some marks for my flowers. I'm using this cookie cutter to make a round mark. I'm using this longer palette knife to pick up my buttercream. By using both sides of your palette knife, pick up the buttercream and make this triangular form behind the palette knife. Also, keep the palette knife edges clean to have a nice, clean petals. Also, all the petals should tour to the middle. So once you're done adding the petals, it looks like it's coming from the center. Once you're done painting half of your flower, make your triangular form a little bit taller. It'll help you to prevent touching and scraping other petals. Before working on my last flower, I'm going to add the middle part first because my last flower will overlap on this flower. When you're trying to overlap and paint it on something, make sure you make your paint or triangular form anything 
taller than usual so you won't ruin any petals or any structure you painted already this is so important guys So now I'm done with my flowers. I'm going to add some little details around my flowers so I can create some sceneries. I'm making um, little vines with number one Wilton tip. And also I'm going to pipe a little stroke around the vines. I can use my palette knife to flatten down a little bit. Then it'll look like one of those painted effect leaves. If you're enjoying this video, please give me thumbs up and subscribe my channel for upcoming tutorials. Thank you so much for watching my video. I'll see you in the next one.